let's compare the B packed with the midi backpack. Ever since I did my unboxing of the fluorescence, I've had requests to see both the B packed and the mini backpack sorry, the midi backpack. I thought it'd be most helpful to actually um, do a comparison. So I have the B packed all packed up right now. So I think what I'll do is show you what I have in here and then we'll see what we can fit into the midi backpack just because this is a little bit of a smaller bag um, compared to this one. And if you haven't seen my unboxing and you wanna see me gush over these colors, then go check out my unboxing. I'll have it linked down in the description box below. But I think both of these colors are so much fun for the summer and the springtime. I think they look even better in person than they do in the um, online pictures. So hopefully this video is kind of showing up true to color. For me, it looks like they are. This one is a really fun um, highlighter yellow. And then this one here is the neon coral. It's like a pinkish with a hint of orange, I would say. And then so like a true coral color. And then this one is just awesome and bright. It is a yellow with like a hint of green. They're both just awesome. All right, so this is the B packed. It's an awesome backpack style. I personally like it for myself. Some people use it as backpacks for their kids. I actually have the Alice in Wonderland print that my daughter is going to use next year for kindergarten. So I do think that these are amazing for school, but I personally like them for myself too. So right here, it does say Jujube. The hardware on this bag is so cool. It's a really pretty gunmetal and I love the dark next to the bright colors. It's a really fun contrast. You'll notice on the B pack that you have two um, nice big bottle pockets that um, do have elastic at the top. In this one, I'm keeping my cell phone and then over here, I'm keeping a 22 ounce Stanley um, water bottle. Let me just show you quickly. This is kind of what the bottom of the bag looks like. And then you do have this front zippered section inside of here. First of all, super bright and fun, um, different colored stripes. And then there are two mesh pockets. Um, just in the front, I have my wallet. This is my Andar Denner wallet. Love that wallet. Then in this pocket right over here, I'm keeping a package of gum and my hand sanitizer spray. And then in this pocket, I have a couple of um, lip products and then also my keys are tucked down in that pocket as well. So there you can see the mesh a little bit better. But pretty nice roomy pocket to work with. The zippers on this bag are super nice and smooth. I love them. You have another pocket here at the top of the bag. It's kind of like the secret pocket. This is actually felt lined. So if you want a place to put your phone, that would be a great place to put it, that it would stay nice and protected. Um, I'm keeping my phone charger in there. And then I also have a coin purse. And this is keeping um, Band-Aids. I also have some, whoops, eye drops in there. Um, I have a few different like hair things in there, little hair ties and bobby pins as well. So all the little essentials inside of that. That's all I was keeping in that um, felt line pocket for right now. This pocket does go onto the inside. I'll show you that when I move on to the inside of the bag. I love the placement of the grab handle. I like that it's nice and soft and squishy. And then on the back, these backpack straps are really comfortable. They do have um, mesh on the back and they are padded. And in fact, this whole back section is padded. Um, I love the quilting here, it just makes it comfortable and the mesh makes it really nice and breathable. And you'll also notice that on the back of the bag here, there is a little D-ring. It's great for kids if they have something they need for school, like hand sanitizer, name tags, things like that for school. You can put that on that D-ring so your kids won't lose it. So I do like that they have that feature there. It comes in really nice and handy. Let's move on to the structure of the inside. These zippers go all the way down to the top of the bottle pockets. And again, super, super smooth zippers, which is amazing. I have it all packed up with um, some Jujube set pieces in the same highlighter yellow. There is a zippered pocket here on the front of the bag. And in here, I'm keeping um, another card case with like loyalty cards and my insurance cards. I have a compact in there, a cuticle serum, a tied to go pen, and then my earbuds are in that pocket as well. The largest set piece is being used as like my diapering clutch. So I have um, a refillable wipes case in there, three size one diapers, and then my Munchkin um, baggy dispenser. In the medium piece, we were using this for snacks. Um, there's still a couple left in there. So I have an applesauce and a granola bar. In the small piece, I have some mittens for her, a little headband, and then also an extra pacifier on a clip. 
Off to the side, I do have a Lily Jade packing case. Um, I love that this is clear so I can see all these items really quick and easily. So um, I have hand cream in there, a foldable hairbrush, deodorant, some saline, gas drops, um, some lanolin, and then there's some little things in there like nail clippers and tweezers. Okay, then at the bottom towards this corner over here, um, I have an Inno Baby snack tower piece. This had some formula in it, but I did use it. Just a little bottle as well. And then I love this piece right here here, especially if you're using this um, for school purposes, you can put notebooks or things in this back pocket and kind of keep things separated. It does have elastic at the top. And in here, I am keeping a um, wet bag. And then I have a onesie in here just in case um, we need a change of clothes. And then I also have tucked down in this section, um, this is a tool that I got from Amazon. It's, it's from the same company that makes the nose Frida. You'll notice it does say Frida on there. And inside of this, it's like a little tool that you can use to um, clean out like their nails, a little um, tool that you can use to get those little boogers out of their nose. So this has come in handy quite a few times already. And then I have some wet ones, some boogie wipes, and just a um, burp cloth down in that section as well. And then you'll notice this is the piece that I was talking about here that I just usually kind of tuck back into um, this pocket. It was the um, felt lined pocket and that just goes wherever you would like it to either in front of that pocket or back here behind the elastic. Let's see what we can fit into the midi backpack. Okay, first of all, here's the bag side by side. You can see the B packs just has a little more room to it. And on the back, it does have a lot more going on with the mesh and the padding and these um, comfortable like backpack straps. The midi backpack I think is meant to look a little more purse-ish because even myself, I'll use this bag as a little purse for myself. So it does have a seatbelt strap material for the backpack straps and then this little handle here at the top made out of that same material. So if you want something that looks less like a traditional kind of school bag style, um, the midi backpack might be your way to go. Pockets on the sides are a little bit different. Um, the elastic is hidden here and extends out on the midi backpack, um, whereas you can see that elastic piece on the top of the B-packed. Both are really great pockets. In fact, let me see if my 22 ounce water bottle will fit. Yeah, it totally does. So both pockets are really nice and roomy. All right, let's see what I can fit into this front section. Um, in the B pack, you did have two elastic pockets. In this one, there is no organization for you. It's just a nice kind of big roomy space. So that's your only um, zippered outer pocket to work with. I think I'm gonna do kind of a similar setup and do my phone on one side. And then at the end, I'll throw the water bottle into here. But in this front pocket, I'll tuck down my keys, this gum, my hand sanitizer spray, my wallet. And then I think I can still fit some stuff. So I'll put the card case in here with those extra cards. I'll throw in my lip products. And then I think my earbuds will fit in there as well. Cause this pocket does go up into this section. So it's actually pretty roomy. And again, super nice and smooth zippers. Now in here you have a lot of great organization as well. Let's put um, some stuff in this back pocket. I'm gonna put in there the cuticle serum, the Tide to Go pen, and then also this um, coin purse with all of the um, med needs. I do have my makeup compact as well that will fit in there easily. Okay, I have my wet bag that I think I'll throw into this back elastic section. And I'll also put my burp cloth kind of off to the side in there. Now I have two more pockets down there and then just the main space. I'll do the charger in one. Yeah, that's fine. So that's my wipes and uh, my boogie wipes. This um, Frida tool, I'll actually put that into the back section as well. All right, let's fill up the main compartment. I have my Lily Jade packing case. This case with the diapers and wipes, I'm gonna just stack everything kind of vertically like this. And you can see everything is a little bit tighter this way. Um, in the B-Packed, I did have a little more width to work with. I feel like I'm kind of maxed out actually um, this way, so I'm gonna need to start stacking up here towards the top of the bag. So I have this uh, medium piece that has all the snacks that I'll just kind of tuck right there at the top. I also have the um, small piece that I think actually I can tuck in front of the Lily Jade case. Then I have my um, snack tower piece from Inno Baby. I can switch the placement of my phone and put the bottle here on this side of the bag. 
I can put my phone in the front. I think there's still a little bit of room here, especially with the top. Yeah, totally. I have room there to throw in my phone. It's like a little tight. And then let's see if this will still fit. Yeah, oh my gosh, yes. That will still fit even with the bag being um, really full. There you go, my bottle on this side and then my own kind of bigger water bottle on this side. And with my packing pouches, I think I could get to everything that I need pretty easily, but it is a little bit tighter and a little more compact than it was inside of the um, B packed. Okay, so there you go, a little comparison between the two um, smaller backpacks from Jujubee. I love both of these styles. I've actually been using the B-Pack for the past couple weeks ever since I got it. Um, it's been great for going to soccer games and all my kids' sporting events that we have going on right now. Um, but I also do love the midi backpack and I, like I said, I've used it as a smaller kind of purse for myself. It's a really great size, but I also love that it has um, all the pockets on the inside and these amazing water bottle pockets on the outside. If you have questions, leave them down in the comments down below. I would love to hear which style is your favorite and which one works best for you. I would also love to hear which color you like the best between the coral and the highlighter yellow. Thank you so much for joining me for this comparison of these Jujubee backpacks, and I will see you soon for my next review.